So what are we doing today? Hang on. Um, Where's your cat dog? Oh no. Much better, much better. Yes, all right. So today we're going to be looking at some of the, I guess, must have um, modifications on the Holden Commodore. Um, these are just all in my opinion, so let's have a look through. Right, so we're gonna pull the Commodore in a little bit more, just, um, it was raining before, so we don't wanna get wet. We don't wanna get you guys wet. Um, so. Especially because it's a camera. Don't well, get that wet. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so let's give it a go. Also, up there, decide whether the car's gonna start, stop, or we're gonna go to the wreckers real quick. She starts. Wow. Yes. No wreckers today, mate. No wreckers today. No wreckers ever. Not today. Alright guys, now first modification is this bad boy. Down here, the lovely exhaust. Um, now, as you can see, it's very dirty, um, and <laughs> if you were here, you just... Breathe it in, breathe it in. <sighs> ah, oh my god! Oxygen, not petrol. Yep, definitely not. You don't actually know what uh, what type of exhaust it is, do you? No, um, so I've had a mechanic tell me that it's an X-Force exhaust. Um, I do slightly doubt that because X-Force exhausts have X-Force written on them. Um, and this one doesn't have it written anywhere. So I, my theory is that it's either a custom made one. So one of the previous owners has just gone out and had someone fabricate them and, and exhaust. Um, Cause it's definitely not stock. It's, it's definitely, definitely not, not stock, stock, definitely not stock because the car will burble. Um, we don't have any videos of that at the moment, but once it's back up and running, um, or it is running, but once the clutch is fixed, we'll take it for a drive and get some nice sounds of the car burbling. Um, so yeah, that's definitely not stock, but yes, number one modification that I think every Commodore owner should have is definitely the exhaust. All right guys, so the car is up to temperature, so we will give it a rev for you, but before we do that, um, I just want to take you through roughly what it costs to get a new exhaust system. And what it means by getting a new exhaust system. Exactly, exactly. Like you can get cap back, you can get your downpipe, you know, the multi multiple like different options, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So first thing would be just your normal generic cap back. Now, as you can see here on my screen, I've got, this is Empire Performance. Um, I found these guys online. I've heard a few of the clips um, of their exhaust going. It's by far the cheapest one that I've ever found. So 899, so 900 bucks. That is without postage. Um, but from what I've heard, it's one of the better sounding exhausts. Um, there is also X-Force, but I've also been talking to people who've supercharged their SV6s and they've said that X-Force exhausts aren't actually very good for that. Um, there, I forget exactly what the guy said that I was talking to, um, but he said if you've got an X-Force exhaust and you're doing some sort of tuning to your car, um, apparently tuners don't really recommend it. Um, so yeah, that's the cat back. Then there's the downpipes and then the hole straight through. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much that costs. I know downpipes are around $300. Um, but yeah, there's... All depends, yeah. Yeah, it all depends on the brand and, and obviously on your Quality personal preference. And, yeah. Yeah, if, if you like the sound of one brand better than another, then, you know, you might have to pay a little bit more. Um, generally with these cars as well, the exhaust tips, the bigger they are, the bigger power loss you'll see. So you usually want to go with the two and a half inch um, tips. I think these are two and a half inch. I haven't ever measured them. Um, yeah, they look like two and a half inch. Um... So yeah, if you've got the three inch and you believe that, you know, it might make a little bit more noise, but you are going to have a bit of a power loss there. Um, so yeah, let's hop in the car and we'll rev it up for you. I, I apologize for that, but once it heats up a little bit more, we'll give it another another rev and hopefully it does. A few moments later. Alright, now block your noses, put your headphones on, get ready, it's gonna crack. Let, let PD Parker come in and just take control. All right. Let's see if he's actually um. Good. 
Yes, what, mate. What can I say? What can I say? That's it. I'll be here all week. <laughs> now, the car is lower than standard, is it not, Dante? Yeah, it definitely is. So, with this car um, being lower, something that I've noticed, something that I've noticed is it's it's obviously it's going to be a lot harder to enter, um, you know, shops and go down dips and whatever. But in my opinion, it is one of the main things that I recommend after the exhaust. The exhaust is definitely the first thing that you should get done. The second thing is lowering the car. Um, now you can obviously see that the wheel gap um, between it and the top of the, I don't know, what, wheel well, I guess. <laughs> it, it's not very big, um, so the car has definitely been lowered. It's actually on super, super low springs, which if you give me two seconds. Don't mind him. <laughs> I'm back. So I have a receipt um, for how much this costs. So the super, super low springs, which by, um, I believe it's King, King Springs. Yep. Um, they're actually the lowest legal springs that you can get for a Holden Commodore. Um, so for those ones, it costs $600. So here's the receipt. Um, I don't know if I'm showing any information there. No ABN. Don't know who that is. Anyway, it's yeah, 600 bucks to get your, uh, to get your springs changed. Um, I would highly recommend it. If you're looking at keeping the SV6 for the long run, definitely something you should do. Especially it's more of like a, a style mode. It does add yeah. performance, but it's more of like, you want your car to look like whoever drives it is cool as. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know about cool as. I'm, I'm, I don't think we go as far as to say cool as, um, but it definitely gives your car a lot uh, more of a cleaner look, I guess. A bit, um, more, a bit more like, a bit of an angrier vibe. Yeah. Like a more attackive or fast kind of vibe. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Um, now while we're down here, you'll also notice that the rims, they are not stock either. Um, so these rims are actually 20 inch. I believe the stock rims were, I think they're either 19s or 18s. Um, so yeah, these are definitely an upgrade and it's something that once again, I would recommend. Um, the stock ones, they're only silver. They, I mean, they look good, they perform, it's their rims. If you, if you don't want to do it or you, you, know, you don't have the money to do it, don't bother. It's definitely not something that needs to happen, and nor is any of this, you know. Um, this is just a bit of an insight onto what I believe are some of the things that I I think, you know, if you own an SV6 and it's, you know, the, your dream car or whatever, these are some of the things that you should think about getting done to it. Um, so yeah, definitely the rims. Um, black on black, it looks good. Sometime in the future though, Alex and I will be sanding these down and we will be painting them, potentially, a different colour. So stick around for that. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next thing. All right, so we're gonna head inside the car now and we're going to show you probably my favorite, like favorite modification on this car. So let's go. Yeah, baby. All right, I'm just trying to work out where I'll put my um, manual. I guess I can put it up there. Anyway, um. So, something on the inside of the car, and actually, this is something that happens to pretty much every VE Commodore. Um, so if you're going to buy one and you hear the seat clicking, it happens in pretty much all of them. I've driven in, I believe, four, and every single one of them has done that. Um, I believe it's just because the cushionings come unstuck from the back of the seat. Not too sure why. I think you can get it fixed by an upholsterer, um, but I haven't looked at pricing yet, so I can't give you you know, an accurate price as to what that would cost. Anyway, modification on the inside of the car. We have talked about this in a previous video. The blessed, the blessed. Yes, the throttle controller. Now, actually, you know what? When we revved the car, it wasn't in speed 13. Oh, I no just realized didn't that. Crack. We didn't, that's why we didn't get a crack. Because obviously speed 13 means... Speed 13 means uber cracks, like uber sound, uber speed, everything. Pretty much what the throttle controller does is it increases the sensitivity of the throttle. We um, did go in depth on some of your modifications in yeah. the previous video, yep. where we did talk about that a bit more. Mm. Um, now, in terms of the brand, um, this is a stealth throttle controller. Um, so I will put the link below, it's by Rev High. Um, now, so far I've had no issues with it, it's awesome. And the battery is dying on this car. Did someone say cold start? Very cold start? And as you can see, if you zoom in, there's that little 
electric, oh, I don't know, like, you know, lightning, something like that. Um, that is there, and that pretty much signifies that your battery is about to die. I'll just put my finger there so it can, whoop, there. So you got your 14.5, which once again, I have no idea what that <laughs> means. Um, but yeah, that little bit there, the, you know, lightning, that means that the battery is on its way out. Um, so anyway, with the throttle controller, four different modes. You got the standard mode, as you'd buy the car. Then you've got your Eco, which pretty much dulls the sensitivity of that throttle controller. So this is brilliant for highway driving. Um, you won't go through as much petrol because if you put your foot down, you're not going to go anywhere as fast. It's just a whole lot more dulled down. Sports Plus. Uh, yeah, well, last time I said this was a, uh, a launch control mode. Um, yeah, I still have no idea what, that, what, what the mode is. Like, I thought it was launch control, but I can't guarantee that for sure. Anyway, um, there are six different um, settings in that one. And then, um, yeah, my favorite, the, the sport mode. So that is speed 13, which, yeah, you put your foot down a little bit. Yeah, it, it's awesome, it's awesome. It's definitely something that you've got to get. Now for that one, um, in terms of pricing on what that cost me, I got it when it was on sale. I think it was around $230. Um, now I believe when it's not on sale, I think they're about 270 to 300. Um, there are other brands. I can't comment on how those other brands are. I've been in a Commodore with the previous version of this throttle controller. It was awesome. And this one here, I highly rate it. It's the best thing that I've done to the car since buying it. So I'd highly recommend that. Anyway, we just wanted to say, uh, <laughs> Mate. Zali, oi, we're videoing here, mate. Can you give us a bit of, um... Sit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Oh. Anyone want to come and take care of this dog for a little while? Anyway, what were you saying, Alexander? Anyway, we're not really getting into stylistic things like uh, different color, like different color rims, hoods, whatever, because that's more your thing. That's not really a mod that is that everyone should get, really. It's more your style, so make it your own. Do whatever you want, but we're talking about more performance. And we'll get on to the last one, which is under the hood, which is any tune, turbo, anything more to the engine, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. All right, so now we're going to pop the hood, aren't we? Yes. Oh, oh g'day, myself. I can't... Oh, there's the thing. Oh, good being... Good being... Woo! She a bit hot. Like it's getting into winter, because this is nice. Um, now... Yeah, um, she's been so, up there, but she's been up there. Yeah, but this this um this engine cover, I think it's actually a little bit broken. But look, that's not what we're talking about. I'll leave that like that. <laughs> I'll just leave it like that for now. I'm gonna fix it up. Don't worry. Um, what we're gonna be talking about now is tunes, anything that you can do to the car to increase a bit of power. So, for example, a turbo, supercharger, ECU tune, or in my case, which I want to get eventually, will be a crackle tune. Now, the car does burble, so when I, uh, about 2,500 revs, pull the foot off the accelerator, the car will just burble. I want it to crack and pop. Um, I want bangs, I want everything. Now, you can get that on, a, on an SV6, and it sounds awesome. I believe they're somewhere in the realm of about 650 bucks up to 1,000. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely something that if you've got one of these and, you know, you want a little bit more power, you want to be um, a little bit louder as well, um, maybe not obnoxious, but you know, you will be a little bit obnoxious. Um, definitely look at getting a crackle tune or an ECU tune to get a little bit more power out of that. But also remember if you get like a turbo or supercharge, you do need to buy other things, especially a turbo, like you oh, need to exactly, buy... exactly. Sometimes, so I've, I've done a little bit of research on the, um, on the superchargers and the turbos. So a turbo kit on this car will cost you about, oh, I think it was like $8,000. Um, a rough guesstimate. Rough. rough. Yeah, 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 this is rough. This is obviously without them even putting the turbo in. Um, so after that's all done, look, you're probably looking at around ten to twelve thousand um, dollars for a supercharger kit, which will give you a little bit more power. Uh, you're looking at about ten thousand dollars just for the supercharger kit itself, um, and there are a few different options for it. But yeah, that's that's ten thousand dollars, and that's not even them putting it in yet. That's, um, it's more of like a if you're keeping this car for a long time and you want to exactly. make it powerful. It's something that you want to keep for, say, your children. Um, it, you know, it's a car that you can take them around in. Or even just, you know, if you never have any children, it's something that you want to retire with. and Just you know. keep forever in the garage. Exactly. Yeah, I doubt I'll be keeping this thing forever. Just like... <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> yeah, uh, mate. What do you want of it? It's a, it's a gold. It's a it, golden it's, nugget. It's quality. It's quality. 
Anyway, I, um, I think that's about it. So, guys, if you went on to enjoy the video um, and the dog... Pet, pet. Subscribe for the dog, pretty much. Not yes, for us. Yes, please. Subscribe to see more of the dog. Um, Zali, by the way, she's not just a dog. Um, also, notifications down below. And we hope you enjoyed. Peace.